stars can you see in the night sky? <gasps> Too many. <laughs> Let's read. <laughs> Ori Star by Christina Litton. Ori Star. Once there was a something who lived somewhere who was special somehow. That something called herself Ori. She had been lonely in the dark for longer than she could remember. Until one day everything changed. Ori was rubbing her hands together to keep warm when a flicker appeared. Ori was astonished. What could it be? She rolled it from one hand to the other. It shimmered in the darkness. Ori couldn't believe she had made something so beautiful. She called it a star. Then she made another and another and another. The sky around her began to light up. Suddenly, Ori caught a glimpse of something in the distance. It was coming towards her, nearer and nearer. Then, with a swish, it was here. Slowly, it reached towards one of Ori's precious stars. Don't do that, Ori gasped. I'm sorry, whispered the thing. Please could you show me how to make one of my own? I've never seen anything so wonderful. Ori smiled. Step by step, she showed the thing, whose name was Bella, how to make a star. And when the star was done, Ori was amazed. It was bigger and brighter than any of the stars she'd made before. And then, just as if from nowhere, a little voice said, Can you show me two? Me three, came another voice. And me four. One by one, more things stepped out from the dark. Please, they begged. Soon, they were all making stars of their own. I'm so glad I found you, said Vega. I never knew there was anyone out here, replied Nova. This is so much fun, <laughs> giggled Luna. Ori's belly fluttered as all sorts of colours and shapes began to appear across the sky. As they hopped, whizzed down curly slides and burst through thick clouds of stars. Ori realised she didn't feel lonely anymore and that together they could make anything they imagined. In fact, they were having so much fun that before they knew it, there were stars everywhere. Bella even used some of the stars to make a bike. They pedalled round and round and up, up, up. But all of a sudden... <gasps> they found themselves in the dark once more. And Ori realised just how enormous the sky really was. There might be others, she whispered, as lonely as we were. We've got to help them. But how, said Bella. 
Ori had an idea, but the thought alone made her belly ache. The friends must go their separate ways and spread their light far and wide. The others were unsure, but Ori knew there was no other way. We need to show everyone how to make stars. If we fill the sky, no one will ever be alone in the dark again. Ori's friends understood. They gave each other one last hug. So Luna whizzed east, Vega whooshed west, Nova zoomed north and Bella darted off to the south. Until they were no longer in sight. Ori began slowly pedalling, making stars as she went. And when she had finished her stars, she suddenly felt quite alone. There was no one here to share her creations. After a long time, a teeniest, tiniest twinkle appeared in the distance. And then another and another. Suddenly, stars began to appear everywhere, bigger and brighter, until finally, the sky was filled with stars. And from that day on, Ori never felt lonely again. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> we enjoyed it too. What was your favourite part? I liked when they all went away and created even more stars so that no one would ever be lonely. <laughs> if you like this book, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye-bye.